Emma Gray, 35, took to Instagram yesterday to tell her followers about the issue that arose just four weeks after relocating to the Isle of Butte. The shepherdess was visited by the police after a viewer of the BBC Two series This Farming Life complained about her husband riding a quad bike with their two-year-old son on his lap. Emma posted a candid message on her story in view of her 33,800 followers. In the picture you could see a police van on her property, with the presenter captioning the image, so nice to have a visit from the police. Someone kindly made an anonymous complaint about us having Len with us on the quad during the show. Makes you feel a bit horrible inside. Sick, she then posted the footage of her firefighter spouse Ewan and their only child on the quad bike, with both wearing helmets for safety. Emma recently relocated with her family from the National Trust Farm Fallowis in Northumberland to the Isle of Butte. Speaking to female, Emma said she was so disappointed to be targeted after only just moving to the area. She continued, it was in the midst of Covid, we had just moved to a new island, we had no family nearby, nor any childcare. Taking Len slowly round on the bike with his dad with a helmet on to check the welfare of lambing ewes didn't strike us as breaking the law. Ewan and Len were checking their young lambs were with their mother. There is no minimum age to ride quad bikes on private land and you do not need a license to ride a quad bike off-road. Also while it is recommended, you are not required in England, Scotland and Wales to wear a crash helmet by law. Emma is known from an event that happened 12 years ago when she split from her fiancé at the age of just 23. This split gave her solo residency of the National Trust's 150-acre Fallow Lees Farm, making her Britain's youngest solo shepherdess. She also became the first woman to win Northumberland's Sheepdog Trials League in four decades. The shepherd made Border Collie royalty when she sold her canine for £18,900 at auction. Emma is the third generation of her family to work in farming and began working with dogs at the age of 13. The shepherdess advertised in a newspaper for a male suitor in 2016, alongside a photo shoot. She described her perfect date as a tall, rugged dog lover who doesn't mind a bit of muck. Emma tied the knot with Ewan in 2018 at Kelso Townhouse before holding the reception at her parents' farm in Hoyk in Roxboroughshire.